So today I am doing the seven deadly sins of beauty tag. So I've got my questions and I will jump straight into it. So the first question is greed. What is your most expensive beauty item and what is your most inexpensive? Well, I don't really like to spend like more than say 25 pound on an item. It depends what it is. If it's foundation, I'll go a little bit higher. Um, but I don't really have that many expensive beauty products. So my most expensive would probably be um, my MAC Mineralized Skin Finish. And this one is Soft and Gentle. It's almost 21.50, I think. And so it's not too expensive, it's not mega expensive, but it's also not really, really cheap, like drugstore price either. My most inexpensive would be, um, I have a few of these, on my MUA single eyeshadows, and these ones are like a pound from Superdrug. Um, this one is shade 29, and it's a pearl one, so it's like a shimmer, and it's like a goldy olive color. But I've got about seven or eight of these, but they're really, really, really pigmented and great, great value. But they're only a pound, so that's my cheapest product I've ever had. Second question is Wrath. What beauty products do you have a love-hate relationship with? Well, I didn't really have to think very hard when it came to this. It is my Revlon Color Stay Foundation. The first video I ever did on YouTube, I basically said how much I hate this product. And some days I do hate this product, like yesterday I used it and it looked amazing and I thought oh my god how could I have ever said that I hated this and then I'm wearing it again today and you can see all the pores in my nose and it was really hard to blend and it just it's one of those things that you can use it one day and it looks amazing and then you can use it another day and you're like ugh why did I even bother this morning but um, yeah that's my number one love hate relationship it's an amazing foundation when it wants to work. Question three, gluttony. What are your most delicious beauty products? Taste wise is my Lush Bubblegum Lip Scrub and this is a sugar scrub. So it's basically just sugar. So that's, it tastes amazing. It smells really, really sweet. It doesn't really smell like bubblegum, but it does smell really, really sweet but it's really delicious, like you can put it all over your lips and I can just sit there and I could probably eat the whole tub of this to be perfectly honest, but most of it is just caster sugar, so that's really tasty. It smells really nice as well. And then I also have my Bourjois um, bronzing powder, which is, it looks like, it's meant to look like chocolate. So if you can see it, like it has like the little cubes of chocolate, but it also smells like chocolate as well. Although, I have a brown nose. I've had this for a while. When I first bought it, it smelled really, really strong. And now you can sort of still smell it, but not as strongly. It smells a bit more talcum powder now. But it used to smell really, really chocolatey, so that was really delicious. For sloth. What beauty product do you neglect due to laziness? Now, I always tell people to put eyeshadow primer on because it makes your eyeshadows all nice and lovely and last all day and everything and I've done loads of videos reviewing eyeshadow primers and talking about them but in all honesty it's one of the things that I always forget to do usually I've just put my eyeshadow on and I'm like oh I didn't put any primer on sometimes if I'm going out usually I have all my makeup out ready and I have my primer out so I remember to use it but most of the time when I'm just doing like daily makeup, I always, always forget to use my eyeshadow primer. So that's one of the things I always forget. Because I just can't be bothered to get it out of the bag. Question five? Am I on question five? Yeah, five. Pride. What beauty product gives you the most self-confidence? I think out of everything, if I've got really nice looking foundation, I could just go out in foundation and nothing else. So... Definitely a good foundation gives me the most self-confidence. I was going to say mascara because sometimes I will just put mascara on and not have any foundation or eyeshadow on or anything. But um, no, I think I'm going to stick with foundation because I think if you have good looking skin and you feel like you've got really nice skin, it does give you sort of more of a confidence boost. So my foundation is probably my confidence booster. Six. This one has absolutely nothing to do with makeup but it's in there. Anyway, lust. 
What attributes do you find most attractive in the opposite sex? I am very, very, very picky when it comes to men. I am very dismissive of people who talk to me in clubs and stuff, mostly because I am the one person that gets the really, really drunk ones that couldn't even tell me their name, couldn't even tell me where they live. They're usually the ones that I get hit on by, so I've sort of been put off by men a little bit. I think looks wise, I would say I usually go for people that have dark hair and light eyes. So people that like have, a bit like Jared Leto, who has black hair and blue eyes. He's the most good looking man ever. But yeah, dark hair and blue or green eyes, I really, really like. I don't mind people with blonde hair. I'm not, you know, that shallow that I would say no because he has blonde hair but I would prefer dark hair and light eyes. Personality wise I really like someone who doesn't take themselves really really seriously. I've met so many people because I live in Cardiff and we're all like a university town. There's a lot of people that go to like the higher more academic universities and they're just they take themselves really really seriously and that I really really hate. I'd like someone who has a sense of humour and isn't too serious and can make me laugh and I know everyone says someone who makes them laugh but that definitely is my number one top priority is someone that I can have a laugh with and get along with so yeah that's my attributes in the opposite sex someone who doesn't look like they're gonna throw up all over me as well would be lovely next one is envy this is the last one what items would you most like to receive as a gift so I've been thinking about this a lot with it coming up to Christmas. My mum texted me and was like, we need your Christmas list, but make it cheap. Well, that's not easy. And it's my birthday on Thursday, actually. And so I had to make a birthday list as well. And in an ideal world where we all had lots and lots of money, I would really have liked to get things like, I really want the both of the Naked palettes by Urban Decay. I would really like the new, um, oh, what's it called? It's like a, a brush gift set by MAC and it's the pink one. But that I really would really, really like. But a lot of perfume as well. I think perfume's a really good gift to give. Um, just because it looks nice and it smells nice. And usually if you get sort of the right combination, if you get a really sweet one for someone who likes really sweet perfume, chances are they're gonna like it. But um, I would really like, two of the perfumes that I would really like would be the Lancome um, La Vie S. Belle one that's just come out, well come out a couple of months ago. That smells amazing, but also the YSL Manifesto as well is a really, really gorgeous perfume which I would love to get. But I know I'm not going to, never mind. Um, another thing I would really like is a Clarisonic. I've only just sort of really started to research them, but they sound amazing but they're £120 and I know I probably won't get that for Christmas. In fact, I know for a definite that I'm not going to get it at Christmas, but that would be lovely if I had a Clarisonic Mia one, like the little travel ones. That would be really nice. So yeah, that was my seven deadly sins of beauty. I hope you enjoyed the video. Um, I will put a link up to my vlog video, which will also be going up either today or tomorrow. That one will be all about um, things that have to happen before you really feel like it's Christmas so I will put a link to it up here and I will probably put like a little clip of it so you can click on and go and watch that as well so if you enjoyed this video please remember to subscribe the button is up here and I will see you next week so bye bye